Welcome to your market update and charts today. It's the 23rd of May 2024. Mike Smith, senior analyst at Go Markets on this Thursday afternoon at the midpoint of the Asian session with what's happening today. And a couple of charts, of course, for you to have a look at too. Let's have a look at the news first of all. Of course, we saw a softer session overnight with US equities, with all the major indices falling lower after the FOMC minutes released, where essentially the narrative that Inflation has been stubborn and this prolonged potential duration before they can start to cut rates was the major takeaway, which was sort of known already by markets. But uh, we saw that response accordingly. On the good news, NVIDIA beat earnings expectations after the bell sent the stock over $1,000 for the first time in after hours trading. And of course, we see that reflected in US futures driven by that nvidia result and ai stocks generally looking particularly good in after hour trading asian equity markets generally lower the way off the lows uh, the asx is down around 0.5 percent and compared to the start of the day that's significantly better where it was down over a percent at its worst point european futures were pointing to a mildly lower open but appear to have neutralized and maybe even starting to edge positively as the day goes on just to see how those open this afternoon with data that's due to come out as well the us dollar index continued to bounce off the 200 ema it's not a good week really uh, there is some follow through in asia in the early hours of the session but we're seeing that just tail off a little bit gold and copper both saw drops Copper futures dropped six percent in yesterday's trading both are looking as though they're pausing to some degree after that drop off Oil also fell to three month lows, and we've seen it test the support level today in Asia. Bitcoin also pausing at around about 70,000, so around about three and a half thousand below that record high after the strength earlier in the week. Australian PMI numbers came in fairly near expectations. Numbers coming out of the UK, the US, the Eurozone as a whole, and of course the US tonight, along with weekly jobs and housing data, all of which may have the potential to move markets a couple of charts that caught our eye today means of last look interesting we're each challenging this key level around about 118 if we breach this we think the next level could be around about 142 and then we had this big earnings jump re retracement up to 117 retracement again and so we're looking for a trend continuation in this so it could be one to watch see if it closes above 118 in the last hour of the trading day on the FX front, if we look at the four hour chart, the GB pound yen, you can see we're still pushing up against this 199.50 level, which we have been doing for the last sort of day or so. If we put it on the hourly chart, you can see there the action in a bit more detail. Looks very much like an ascending triangle, almost textbook. And a move up to 200 may be on the cards should we get a breach. May not happen until this afternoon, but one to keep an eye on nevertheless. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.